All right, we're going to take a look at a vintage MRE today. This one is in one of the earlier tan bags, pre-2008. It's menu number 18, turkey breast with gravy and potatoes. This one is sometimes called the Thanksgiving MRE, and it does not have a date code, but this MRE was produced between 1997 and 2003, so there's a seven-year window that it could be from. And it's from the Warner Company. And we're going to have to open it up to find out what kind of shape it's in and exactly when it's from. Yeah, there's definitely something sticky in here. Something has burst. Oh, wow. And you can see that. Wow, what is this? Uh oh, here it is. I found the culprit. This one has Jolly Ranchers. We have peanut butter, crackers. Find this ration heater. We have beverage based powder, grape, and grilled turkey breast fillet with potatoes and gravy chunked and formed. That really makes it sound appetizing, doesn't it? And here's the date code on this it's 7116, so the 116th day of 1997. So, 22 years old. And we have the accessory pack. We have some Tabasco sauce in there. It's very dark. We have our spoon. And we have a pound cake. And what flavor do we have? We have orange. Alright, here's everything that's in this one. Pretty modest sized MRE. Let's check it out. I did notice that I neglected to open the accessory pack. It's also a good uh, test of the waterproof qualities of an MRE because obviously the outer bag is tough and pretty waterproof but even if water gets in everything should be fine inside of it. And in this case that, that is the case. We have iced tea drink, and some white tip matches, moist toilette, toilet paper, salt, chewing gum, and the Tabasco sauce which is still liquid but it's also really dark. I'm going to try these, open up these crackers, and it's very likely these are going to be bleached out. But, let will check them out. A little bit of a hiss. And there comes the moment of truth. Whoa! They smell like crackers. As I can say this, it sounds like the most boring thing you can say, that hey, these crackers smell like crackers, but in the case of something this old, it's a very welcome thing to smell crackers when you smell the crackers. It'll give the peanut butter a good knead. And that peanut butter is looking just fine. You would not think this was 22 years old, the crackers or the peanut butter. So it looks like we're going to have at least something that we can eat out of this. Yeah, I guess the pound cake is next. It smells pretty good. Doesn't, yeah, I guess it has some orange smell coming off of it. Oh, breaking up a little bit. It smells a lot like the, the spice cake ones. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't smell too bad. Definitely something we're going to take a taste of. So we get some, some good signs here, actually. Right, the grape beverage is going to take 12 ounces of water. Ooh. That does not look great. I guess we'll be careful with this one. Let's see what color this turns into. All right, it does have a grapeish kind of smell. I'm hoping for the best with this one.
and this tea takes 8 ounces. It smells kind of like grapes. Doesn't look too bad though. And that just leaves us with the turkey, gravy, and potatoes, which is incredibly hot because I had it boiling. This can be the true test. Seems to smell good. It almost has a little bit of a, a cheesy smell, which seems a little bit odd, but let's check it out. All right, that doesn't smell too bad. I think it's actually going to be possible to give it a taste. And the gravy, the gravy looks pretty nice. And I forgot that it was a fillet of turkey. It was actually kind of hard to get it out of the pouch. I had to go in and uh, pull it out by hand. But let's try this. It's tough. I mean, that could be part of the reason they don't put turkey in MREs, is because it does. It can tend to get tough. Let me give this a try. I probably should have been a little more careful with that. I just kind of started chewing and just swallowed the whole thing. It's not an excellent turkey. I mean, if you told me that was chicken or beef, I probably would believe you. It doesn't really come across taste-wise as being turkey, but it doesn't seem to be too bad either. As I was chewing it, I seemed to be getting a little bit of an after, a pretty quick aftertaste of packaging, almost a metallic quality, which is usually a really bad sign, but it was it was just a, a touch. Let me try the potatoes too. And yeah, that's pretty good too. Despite the fact they've been swimming around in here for 22 years, they still have some firmness to them. They're not like all soggy or anything. The gravy. That's where that sort of cheesiness seems to be coming from. I'm not sure what I think about that. And I'm just going to take a quick look at this ingredient list and see if there's anything to explain that cheese flavor. I'm going to guess that it would probably be coming from this seasoning that includes maltodextrin cream powder, which has sweet cream, non-fat milk. So it's almost like um, probably some of this dairy stuff is sort of turning and it's kind of getting a, a cheese sort of flavor to it and smell. Let me try a little bit more of this turkey. Now there's definitely a little weird aftertaste that you actually get while you're still tasting it. You're chewing it and like I said it's not really coming through as being very turkey-like. I don't think I'm, I think I'm getting a little bit of burning in my throat so yeah this is not something you want to eat eat all of this but I, I, I'm, I'm getting that it probably wasn't that bad of an entree when it came out. Nothing really special but for 1997 era MREs it's really not too bad at all and I think you probably could eat this if you had to. I don't have to so I'm not going to take a chance. But I ate a pretty good chunk there, and the potatoes aren't too bad. I don't seem to be suffering from it, so that's a good sign. Now we'll go ahead and try some of this cracker and peanut butter. So I said the cracker seems to be doing really good for being 22 years old, but let me just try some on its own, just to confirm that. Yeah, it might have a little bit of staleness. Otherwise it's just bland because of the fact that it's uh, it's not very salty. It's not one of the ones that's like a saltine. It doesn't have any visible salt on it. I'm sure there's some in the mixture, but try it with the peanut butter. And that peanut butter is aged very well. We'll go ahead and try and clear the palate a little bit with some of this grape beverage. Yeah, and it definitely smells like the packaging. You're not really getting that nice artificial grape smell. The background of packaging smell, it's more like packaging smell with a slight hint or background of grape. I will say it does taste better than it smells though. And it's not as sickly sweet as they tend to be nowadays. It's a little bit more mild, which it couldn't have to do with the age. Um, we saw what that part looked like. It didn't look all that great, but it tastes pretty good. Which, speaking of tasting pretty good, that brings us to the orange pound cake, which I'm hoping is going to taste good. Oops. Ooh, yeah. It's a bit on the dry side. Flavor doesn't seem to be too bad, but I kind of really went for it, and uh, it's giving me that odd sensation along the side of my tongue. Mm, don't really like that. So something in here is turned, but it doesn't seem to be completely rancid or anything. 
mild taste of orange. I'll bet when it was fresh it was a lot better. This is another thing I think you could probably eat this if you needed to, but when you get those warning signs, like the burning in the throat and the sensation along the side of your tongue, it's a good sign that you really shouldn't be eating any more of it. But if nothing else, the crackers of peanut butter kind of saves the day. Give the iced tea a little taste. It smells good. Wow, it's weird. It's uh, I was taking a sip and it tasted perfect. It tasted just fine. And as soon as I started swallowing it, kind of like with the turkey, I get started getting that aftertaste of packaging and just something being not quite right with it. It looks like everything in here has survived pretty well, considering I believe it was under high heat conditions, and obviously the fact that it's 22 years old. But I'm impressed. And now, let's take a look at this package of Jolly Ranches and see what's going on in here. Ah, yeah, it looks like one of them just completely liquefied. That's weird. It's like this one top one just completely melted. And the ones below them, no, oh, actually these are gone too. There's nothing in here. The ones below them seem to have something in them. No, this is just a, just a sticky mess. Yeah, and it's softer than I thought it was. I thought it actually was solid down below. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get anything out of here. It's all just kind of melted and resealed itself over time kept its shape, which is nice. Yeah, it's just a big block. I can't even get the packaging off. You can see it's just this big block of Jolly Rancher. I wonder if... You know, I was kind of, the only way I could taste it was to lick it, and it kind of tastes like a... You can kind of see it's almost brown. It kind of tastes like a combination of all the Jolly Ranchers, and I think that's what it is. I think they all, over time, just sort of melted together, liquefied, and then came back together as a like kind of soup and turned back into a solid. It's probably stored this way so everything melted melted down. And obviously some got out of the package and got onto everything else. So that's a mess. But certainly kind of fun to check out. So that was a look at a somewhat compromised menu number 18 turkey breast with gravy and potatoes from 1997, first year of production. Thank you for watching.